my first day as a tech consultant in Paris and this was the first problem I had to solve. Let's talk about that today, shall we? Getting back to the story, after I finished all my HR obligations back in 2019, I was this nervous kid who just got into his first job and this polite guy who seems to know what he's talking about greets me and asks me for my help. In someone's issue and I've made I've solved it, that's the reason I started my YouTube channel too. You know, it makes me really happy that someone found value and was able to solve a pro. So after greeting himself, he says that his computer has been prompting him for low storage and he doesn't know how to fix it. In less than five minutes, I could tell him that the reason your computer keeps bothering you about storage is because you haven't deleted Outlook attachments and messages since 2015. Now, I don't want to grab his computer and look at all of his personal stuff and say you have too many photos or too many family videos. So here's what I did. I go on to Google and I download Daisy Disk for free. No, I can wait. No, I'm, I'm free. I, what are you guys up to? I mean, <laughs> I, I'm I mean, Sunday afternoon, I'm just chilling. Just go ahead and hit scan. Give it a second to do its thing. If you look at this, it's neatly color coded on who consumes how much data. The biggest one is from Joshua Balata, the user consumes 142 gigs out of my 256. That's that's a lot of stuff. And application itself only consume 30 GB. So you have a bird's eye view of your whole desk of who consumes what. I save all my projects I'm working on are on the desktop. So that makes sense. That's where 33 gigs in the desktop comes from. But library is at 45 gigs. I've already done this analysis for my computer. So I already know the answer, but let's just pretend I don't. So I would try to dig into what does it mean library? 40 gigs of cache. Cache is just intermediate data stored somewhere, it makes it faster when you open a certain app. So this is cache for which app again? All of Adobe stuff. Before you delete something, this is something that I used to do as a kid as well in the computer that my parents bought me. I would just delete stuff that I didn't know what's happening and the computer would stop working and my poor parents would pay for I'm sorry, mom and dad have been... Don't delete stuff, okay? That's the more... I learned something. I looked it up on Google and saw that I could delete Adobe Cache and not have any consequences. If you look at this path, it doesn't exist in the Finder. And here's a pro tip, okay? This is none of the YouTubers are telling you this. None of the YouTube videos about Daisy Disk is telling you this pro tip. Don't have to buy the software. Just hover your mouse over 39.4 GB or whatever you're trying to open. And if you can't find it, just hit spacebar. This thing opens up, double click it, and it opens Finder with the same path. Notice library was hidden. So if I went to the same path, I wouldn't find library. There is a shortcut for that, command shift dot, and it opens all the hidden files. Now, why go through all that stuff? When you have Daisy Disk open, just see who's that big guy over your mouse on that, hit spacebar, double click. That's the pro tip you guys are here for. I just created a project last week on After Effects and I was on it for hours. So Adobe After Effects does save these intermediate files and I don't want to get rid of it because sometimes it crashes. Now that the project is done, I can delete it. I'm just going to hit command delete. It's gone. I go to trash can and empty recycle bin. You can even do this with hard disk drives. Is the audio on? Paranoia moment. Just connect it, scan it, and it'll take a little second because it's not SSD or... Who am I to judge you? I'm sure you have SSD. I don't have SSD, but you probably have an SSD hard disk drive. <laughs> Connect it, scan it, and you see who's consuming the most amount of data. Now, of course, Mac has its storage, um, and it, you can hit manage, and it shows you who consumes what. But this thing doesn't account for hidden files, the one that we did command, shift, and dot. It doesn't account for that. That's where Daisy Disk comes in handy. I hope this video helps. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one, and keep learning.